Hi, this is Saurabh Joshi from Stratpost and I'm here with Rajiv Sharma from the Gun Carriage Factory at Jabalpur of the Ordnance Factory Board. We're standing with the Dhanush 155mm uh, 45 caliber uh, weapon system that OFB has developed from the blueprints that came, from, uh, came along from the old Bofors uh, uh, procurement. My first question to you, sir, is what has this experience been like in terms of taking 20-year-old blueprints and transferring them into reality? I mean, wh what was the effort involved? First, let me say that uh, Dhanush is a state-of-the-art, new generation towed artillery gun system, which has been developed by Ordnance Factory Board, based on the TOT of Bofors. As you know that the Bofors guns were imported uh, in the late 80s, and transfer of technology also happened that time. But it could not, never materialize. Now, about four years back, there was a serious effort that since we have the documents, why not take it to the next level and have an indigenous gun based on that TOT. So those in the in, end of 2011, there was a team constituted, including the user and the producer, that is the Ordnance Factory Board, and along with the user, a team was formed and a serious effort was made to uh, develop an, uh, a gun based on that TOT, but which would be purely indigenous. So therein the Ordnance Factory Board started their efforts and now we have this gun, the 155mm 45 caliber Dhanush in front of you, which, is, which has been produced in, in a very short period based on those documents. But let me remind you that since the TOT was very old, there were certain gaps in it. So it was a major challenge filling up those gaps, translating those documents into production documents, getting everything all right, getting the fixtures, getting the material, getting the uh, assemblies ready. It was a major challenge, but Ordnance Factory Board has been up to the task. Gun Carriage Factory has done a lot of work in Ordnance. There are about nine Ordnance Factories which have been involved in this project, and it has been a complete success story because the gun in, is in front of you. So that, that was what, uh, what I was going to ask you next, was that the blueprints are actually sort of 20 years old. So how do you make a contemporary weapon system, a modern contemporary weapon system, out of blueprints that are so old? I mean, what did you have to do? Let me remind you that this, the original gun was a 155mm 39 caliber gun. But now what we have done is, with our own R&D efforts of OFB, we have introduced certain major upgrade features which make it one of the best in its class in the world as of today. Now, if we, if, let me show you what are the major upgrade features. These can be categorized into two categories. One is the mechanical upgrade, which consists of a 45 caliber ordnance. So as you can see, that it is a 45 caliber ordnance mounted on this gun. 45 caliber ordnance is longer in length by about 1 meters as compared to the 39 calibers and it has a longer, larger chamber volume of about 23 liters. So with these two systems, we are able to achieve an enhanced range of 38 kilometers as compared to 27 in the original gun. Then another thing is the modified loading trough which we have done. Modified loading trough allows us to fire the next generation of BMCS, charge system. There's a bimodular charge system which is the latest now. So this modification has allowed us to fire that system. Then thirdly is the modified muzzle brake. Now once we have a longer barrel and a larger chamber volume, that increases the muzzle velocity. And simultaneously recoil forces on the gun also increase. But with a high efficiency modified muzzle brake, we have been able to restrict those stresses to the same level as in the original carriage. So here we have a modular structure with while keeping all the other things same, we have mounted a longer uh, 45 caliber ordnance and we achieve a longer range, but keeping the structure intact. So these are all developments, upgrades that uh, OFB has done in-house? Yes, this is uh, this uh, 45 caliber ordnance has been designed and developed purely by Ordnance Factory Board only. Because I understand that the, the one of the major challenges is getting the metallurgy right. Yes, and Indian Ordnance Factories have a history of metallurgy. We are melting our own steel. We have an Ordnance Factory in uh, uh, Metal and Steel Factory, Ishapur, where we make the special type of steel, which, which is the electro slag find ESR quality of steel. We are melting the steel there, and we, are, we have a radial forging plant, which is the only uh, one of its kind in the country, a large forging plant, where we do the forging also. So we are making the barrel completely in-house. At what stage is the development of this system at this point? I mean, I know you've conducted some trials. At what stage is, is, is it and, and when will the army finally be fielding this? Dhanush has now entered the last phase of the user trials. The user trials has conducted in four 
phases. The first is the firing trials at high altitude and deserts. That has been completed successfully. The DGQA evaluation has been completed. Maintainability trials have been completed and now Dhanush has entered the last stage of trials that is the electromagnetic compatibility that is due in the month of April. And once all those trials are over, then the gun goes into GS evaluation that is the final stage of evaluation. And we hope that by end of this uh, year, the 2016, we should have a bulk production uh, clearance with us. Indian Army has already placed an indent for 114 guns on Ordnance Factory Board and we are only waiting for this last stage of trials to get over. After that we get the bulk production clearance and the uh, bulk production starts. Alright, now uh, we also have the 52 caliber gun, the 52 caliber prototype here. At what, what was the thinking behind, you know, up, up gunning it even further and, and uh, what sort of, how, how difficult has it been? What, what challenges have you faced? As you know that improvements never stop, there is a scope for always, uh, there is always a scope for improvement and this 52 caliber which you see is a step ahead of the 45 caliber. The 52 caliber ordnance is still one meter longer in length. So with the 45 caliber ordnance we achieve a range of about 38 kilometers but with the 52 caliber we achieve a range of another, uh, another increment of 4 kilometers uh, so to say so that we are about 45, 42 kilometers in range. So that is the advantage of this 52 caliber ordnance. And at, at what stage of development is it? This has been, uh, this is still a prototype only which has been developed by Ordnance Factory Board. And let me remind you that again the same carriage, the same structure has been used which is of 45 caliber but with modification in trails. So with a slight modification here we have a modular structure which can house the 39 caliber as well as the 45 caliber as well as the 52 caliber. So three calibers with slight modifications in the carriage and that is a big advantage in terms of logistics, in terms of commonality of spares for the Indian Army. And do, do you think, do you think you know, now that you've displayed the proof of concept, the proof of the pudding is in the eating and trials are underway, they're going to be completed, do you think that OFB is soon going to become the one-stop shop as far as artillery weapon systems is concerned for the Indian Army? OFB has always been that. I think OFB has been a one-stop shop for all the artillery equipments and it, 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 it will remain so. It has a leadership, it has an experience of about history of about 200 years and I think uh, OFB will maintain its leadership. There is no doubt about it. Mr. Sharma, thank you for talking to us. Thank you so much. That was Rajesh Sharma from the Ordnance Factory Board, Gun Carriage Factory, Jabalpur, talking to us about the Dhanush 45 caliber and the 52 caliber prototype. You're watching Stratpost.